Hi, Steve Wiseman here from IntelAdmin.com and this week we got a question from Linda. She wanted to know how to back up IIS configuration from the command line. Let's see what she's talking about. Right here I've got uh, Internet Information Server Manager open and inside there you've got the FTP sites, you've got websites, each site has its own settings and over time you could fill it with all kinds of information all kinds of settings that are very important for your website and its operation let's just take a look at uh, the default website on this server and uh, we're going to change the default document type this is the document it'll look for when um, you just go to a folder and we'll make it intelladmin.php and put it at the top so what about those backups when you make a change in IIS, it automatically backs up uh, the settings change you made. If you go into the properties of the server and you go into backup and restore, you can see here it's got some automatic backups. The problem with these backups is that they're stored on the hard drive and they're in a hidden folder. That's great if you make a mistake and you want to go back and, and undo your mistake, but what happens if the whole server blows up? or you even just want to take that configuration and move it to another server. That's where backing up from the command line works out great. So how do we create backups that are just like these here but generated from the command line? Let's go to a command line and I'm going to show you how to activate uh, a VB script that's built into Windows 2003. It's called IIS config and to get it to work you have to call it at least once uh, by hand so it'll automatically switch windows to use uh, cscript.exe so you can see here I'm calling it and it's telling me it's not going to work with the uh, the windows based uh, VB script engine and you just click OK and it'll give you the option to uh, register it as the default the cscript uh, handler so go ahead and say yes and after that you can call uh, IIS, IIS uh, CNFG uh, from anywhere on the command line. It's already built into the path. Now we're ready to call the command and back up our server. What are our requirements? Uh, two major requirements. We want to back up everything, including FTP sites, SMTP settings, and also we want to uh, be able to restore it on another server. So you can see here my, my options are export, and then uh, my source path is going to be LM, which is the local machine. Include children. Uh, we want, want to include the uh, inherited settings. And um, we also need to set a password. One of the things with IIS config, if you don't set a password, it'll work. But if you try to move that file to another server, it will not let you import it. It'll give you an error. So make sure you set a password and make sure you don't forget it because otherwise without it you won't be able to restore the settings. So I do a slash G and I uh, a slash D and I set the password and then we got to give it a path where the file is going to be saved. Uh, in this case I'll just put it on the root of the hard drive for our, our tests and I'll give it a name uh, iasconfig.back and you can see it runs pretty quick. It's already backed up. Uh, if we take a look on our uh, hard drive we can see it's there and maybe we'll take a little peek at it and see what's inside. And you can see all your settings are in there. It's a type of XML file and all the websites and all that MTP information, uh, FTP sites, even your logging settings. Just about everything in your IAS settings is saved there. So now Let's say someone comes along and uh, messes around with the configuration. They go into the default document types and uh, they blow away everything and uh, maybe set the default document to some oddball file that doesn't even work anymore and the website's down now. So how do we restore it? Well, the command line for restoring it uh, is just as easy as the command line for uh, backing up the entire website. So let's go back to our command line and we will uh, 
use IIS config. But this time we're going to do an import. And we have to specify a source path and a destination path. And in this case, we're going to use a local machine for both of them. So you can see their DP is destination path and SP is source path. And we're going to do the same as before. We're going to include all the children, uh, all inherited settings. And then we have to specify the password. This has to be the same password you use to create the file. If you don't have it, you're not going to be able to restore it. So that's real important to keep that in a safe place. And then our file is going to be the, uh, the one that we have in the hard drive. And let's do a restore. See, that was quick. So now let's go back to our IIS configuration and check out our default settings for the document types. And as you can see here, that damage that was done before is totally undone. So that's it, folks. One line to back up and one line to restore. It's a pretty simple operation.